guys welcome to my channel if you are thinking about getting a harp and want to know which harp is right for you or if you're just curious which harp would be right for you and you want to take this test then keep watching because we're going to be doing that in this video very briefly i want to talk about accidentals because in my last video i talked about them a lot and i want to just kind of clarify what they are Okay, so in music, there is something called a key signature, and that talks about, um, or that tells you how many sharps or flats there are in a particular piece, in that piece. And when there's an accidental in the music, that means that, um, so let's say, let's say that there was one F sharp for the key signature, so that means that every single F you're going to play is sharp but there is an F natural somewhere in the piece. That would be called an accidental because that's not in the key signature. So now that we know what accidentals are, let's go ahead and take this test that I have designed to uh, tell you what harp you should get if you're going to get one. And if you've not watched my previous video about the differences between lover and pedal harps, I would encourage you to go and watch that before continuing with this video because the differences that I talk about in that video I will be referring to a lot, such as lover and pedal harps and um, contragrand pedal harps and semigrand pedal harps. And in that video, I talked about one of the questions that we're going to be asking in here, and I will not reiterate everything that I said. So go ahead and watch that video, and then you'll know the answer to one of the questions. So let's get started. Okay, so there are four questions to the test. And the first one is, what is your goal with this harp? So that means when you get this harp, what do you want to do with it? And a couple of... Um, ideas would be to play it as a hobby, to perform with it, to teach with it, or to be in an orchestral position with your harp. And we're going to talk about which harp you would need for each of these. For this particular question, there's not going to be um, an answer like lever or pedal. So if you're like, oh, I know I want it to be as a hobby. Well, there wouldn't be an answer for love or pedal because you could have either harp. And how we're going to answer the first question is by looking at the second question. And that is the question in the previous video that I made, um, which is what music do you want to play on this harp? And so I talked about classical music. I talked about church. Um, actually, I don't think I talked about church music. I'll talk about church music here. I talked about Irish and Celtic jazz and pop so um go ahead and make sure that you know which harp you would need for those genres of music and then for church music i would say either you can have either lover or pedal harp it's really good to have a pedal harp because they have a lot of varying key signatures and with the accidentals i play a lot of chords when i play at church at at my youth group so I really don't deal with a ton of accidentals, but when you're trying to transition from one song to the next, it's really, really important to be able to get all of the key signatures that you need um, with one tuning, and you don't want to have to retune your harp. It's a possibility, you can do it, but it's just a lot easier if you don't have to. So, so when we look at the second question, we, we look at all the genres of music and which harp you would need for that specific genre. And that's gonna answer our first question. So say you want to have this as a hobby. Well, what music do you wanna play? If you wanna play classical, it's good to get a pedal harp. So you're like, okay, now I know that for the first and second question, the answer would be pedal harp. I need a pedal harp. If you're going to teach and you wanna teach Irish or Celtic music specifically, then you know that you need to have a lover harp. 
And so why don't you go ahead and if you want to, you can write all this stuff down. You can write down what you want to do with it and the music or the genre of music that you want to play. And that genre of music, the answer for that, whichever harp, that'll be the answer for the first question as well. So the third question is what is your price range? And this question is kind of sad because I'm sure a lot of um, young harpists out there or beginning harpists out there do want to play on pedal harps. However, pedal harps are extremely expensive. They range from 15 or 13, 13,000 to $55,000 or really just however much you are willing to spend on a harp. I have played on both a $27,000 harp and a $55,000 harp. And those are just extremely expensive. And when you get a semi-grand pedal harp, they're usually a lot less, well, not a lot less expensive, but a little less expensive than a concert grand, which is nice, um, but semi-grands are still really expensive. And lover harps range from 3000 to 8000 which in my books is still a lot of money. And so when you are considering which harp to buy, you want to make sure that you know um, the harps that are out there, how expensive they are, so that you can kind of um, set a goal for, for saving up. You can um, kind of have a goal of what you want to spend and um, just go into the the buying process of a harp knowing how much you are going to spend so that you are not like shocked and like you don't like pass out because it's so expensive. There are a lot of options out there if you cannot afford a harp that is like $24,000. There are used harps, a ton of used harps that you can take a look at. Um, you can just go for like if you're looking for a pedal harp, you can just go for a lover harp to get started. Um, on one, you can maybe just try to rent a harp. I'm not sure how expensive that is, and it would probably add up pretty quickly. But if you are wanting to just start it right away and um, you want to get a couple lessons in, then renting a harp would also be another option. Three harp stores that I have um, purchased things from things being both harps and like music and strings and stuff would be the Virginia Harp Center, the Atlanta Harp Center, and Vanderbilt Music Company, I believe. I'll put what it is down below. Um, but these three places have been phenomenal in their service. Um, actually, Virginia, Virginia and Atlanta are both sister companies and We've gotten a ton of strings and different things from them. And Vanderbilt is where I actually got my concert grand pedal harp. And we had really, really great service when we purchased this from them. So I would suggest that you guys look into them when you are um, trying to purchase music, strings, or your harp. So the last question that we're going to be answering is what is your lifestyle? And this basically means that maybe for every single question you're answered with pedal harp and you have the money for a pedal harp and you're just, you just have to pick it out. However, you live on like the top story of a three story apartment and there's no elevator and no way to get your harp up and down the stairs. Maybe that's not the best harp to get because of your lifestyle. And if, because if you're going to be traveling with your harp at all, if you have to move it for performing or for music lessons or anything like that, if you're going to be playing in a group, then you, you have to be able to move it. And if you can't move it and you want to do those things, then you're probably going to have to get a lever harp so that you can move it a little more easy, a little easier. Um, another, another way to put this would be maybe you want to get a a harp in general but you don't have enough time to learn it enough time to practice like you need to um or you don't have people to move it for you if it's too big or too heavy these are all examples of um situations where you probably just should not get 
a harp or should not get a pedal harp because of its size. They also make lap harps and these are really nice because they're literally so small that they fit in your lap and you will be able to play a harp and learn different songs but it's not like really really big. You can just like pop it in the car and go to wherever you need to go. So I hope that you guys like this video. I know that the last two questions can kind of be a little sad because um, they can really hinder us from wanting to get a certain harp or get a harp at all, but these are questions that you're going to need to answer, especially if you're seriously thinking about getting a harp. You want to make sure that you get a harp that fits your lifestyle and your price range and what you want to do with it and what you want what you want to play on it. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel and um, like this video <laughs> and comment if you want to. Also, I have an Instagram. It's the life of a classical musician and I will put I'll put it down here. I would encourage you guys to go check that out. I'll be posting on there whenever I post um, videos onto onto YouTube. And I'll probably be putting like extra stuff on there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.